Does Credit Karma suck or do we just not understand the value of how Credit Karma is supposed to work? Let's take a quick look at it here. We got 811 and 814. If we just dive into either one of these profiles, we can see the factors that actually make up our score and we can see the history of it. But let's look at something pretty interesting. Again, if you look at my Credit Karma scores at 11, 811 and 814, if we come over here to my score IQ, you can see my scores are actually higher. These are FICO 8 scores. These are Vantage Score 3.0 scores. So when you look and you say FICO 8 scores, this should be better. But if we actually look at the mortgage score, the mortgage score is going to tell us what our actual Experian FICO 2, TransUnion FICO 4, and Equifax FICO 5 scores are. When you look at a FICO 2 scoring algorithm, the scoring algorithm is calculated differently based on the same factors that are used in Credit Karma, but they're looking at different information. And the biggest difference is, when you're looking to get approved for, let's just conceptually say, a regular credit card that's $3,000 or maybe even a $30,000 auto loan, they're looking at more recent history, which is what the FICO 8 scoring algorithms are based on. When you're trying to get approved for a mortgage, they don't care about the last 24 months of your history. They're looking more at the last seven years because they're not giving you a $3,000 credit card or a five-year $30,000 auto loan. They're giving you a 30-year $400,000 mortgage. That's why when they look at all these different factors, the age of credit history means a lot more. The age of each individual account means a lot more. They want to see older age of credit history, and that's what's going to drive up the mortgage score. So it's not that Credit Karma scores are inaccurate or wrong. It's just what algorithm are you actually looking at? That is going to be the biggest difference. As again, you can see Vantage Score 3.0 versus a FICO 2 when we're actually currently looking at FICO 8, FICO 9, and even FICO 10, uh, FICO 10 and FICO 10T scoring algorithms. So if you have questions on this, if you want to learn more, please make sure to send me a message. If you're trying to build and boost, I don't care if it's your mortgage score, if it's your credit card or auto loan score, or even if you're trying to boost your score for business credit, send me a message. Let's go to work. I can help you.